Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel once again, Andre Cardoso here, thank you as always for being here and some of you, the, at least those who have, who have been watching my previous video uh, should be wondering why the hell this guy is showing me the previous patterns that I, when I want to, to know about the next ones the previous ones belongs to the past and that's true so and for that reason i'm here also again to share to share some some of the patterns that i want to um, to see if the market completes uh, them so let's 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 start to let's start with the cable so as i shared before on my previous video that potential heads and shoulders can trigger more uh, can trigger more upside momentum uh, or, or or and at least the retest of the previous daily uh, or, or the previous structure highs so what i want to see for the cable and because on, on the long term i'm a bullish for for the cable i want to see the violation of the resistance and i want to see a retest of that resistance so at some point i want um, i want the price finding some pressure right above the previous highs I need a clear retest of the resistance level and then if followed by uh, a bounce I can try to take advantage of this uh, rejection of this um, of this major resistance so that's that's the cup that we can see here it's kind of a 12 hours or even on, on a daily time frame chart so I believe the market is forming the, the handle and that a violation of the resistance should trigger that, that specific pattern. But I want to see that clear evidence uh, and I want to see the price rejecting that monthly fractal resistance. And sometimes the market will not offer me that opportunity. The market will trade di directly uh, and, and creating some type of a rally above the fractal. Uh, and sometimes the market will not offer me that opportunity so for that reason I prefer to wait uh, for confirmation because it can happen also the mar I, we enter the market expecting the market to trade even higher and the market immediately recovers below the fractal again so I prefer to wait to see a clear rejection of this fractal and eventually the market will find some or form some range above the fractal we, we identify that range and we trade above that range okay we want to see how the price uh, will uh, create that it can be on, in a different form of course I'm just projecting that as a kind of a parallel box right there above the fractal above the fractal but it can see we, we can see the formation of kind of a flag pattern whatever the market needs to form but I need to see a clear rejection of this of this structure. If that happens, I will I will try to get involved for more upside momentum for the cable. Then we have also uh, actually let's jump into my blue list. We have euro versus uh, dollar versus the yen. Actually, let's go to the euro versus dollar and also the New Zealand. I still expect more upside uh, upside momentum also for euro versus dollar after the formation of that bullish alt bat pattern as I shared before. Um, so I still expect at least a retest of the previous the previous highs. Let's see if that that will if that will happen. Um, one of the things that I that I will not be surprised to see is, is an extension of this swing low to the 200% Fibonacci extension which which is pointing to the monthly fractal um, resistance so basically this this specific sequence uh, I want to see if the price will trade this this price on but it's too soon to project that that sequence for now we still need to see a violation we still need a violation of the weekly fractal resistance and actually the most recent daily fractal printed a few points above it um, so but I'm expecting I'm, a, I'm 
I do expect more bullish momentum for euro versus dollar, but I will pay attention for uh, one approach to this fractal resistance again. Uh, very much the same for the Kiwi. If the market decides to trade above the most recent re weekly fractal resistance proje projected, uh, actually positioned at 73.16, um, I will not be surprised to see then later this sequence also being completed for the Kiwi, which, which may imply a short or a retracement or a pullback, whatever you want to call it, back to the monthly or back to the weekly fractal resistance. So um, uh, another one which is too soon to project uh, above. So, but if that happens, uh, I will expect nothing more than than a pullback after after that happens. I will wait for one approach to that monthly fractal resistance also for the um, for the Kiwi. And uh, w one of the other possibilities is also the formation of an edge in shoulders on a higher degree. We can see these on a different degree also. Um, but if this is the next zone, I need to see then the, the formation of the right shoulder. Uh, I will point to the golden Fibonacci level or a few points above this golden Fibonacci level to form that, that right shoulder. And if that happens, it uh, at least trying to respect this previous structure highs at 7288. If the price decides to respect that, forming the, the potential right shoulder, then later we will pay attention to the daily support, which will be, which will act as a next zone. So if that if that if the price then prints that pattern, and if the price violates this this structure support level, um, that will trigger. Uh, that should trigger the, the pattern, the, the heads and shoulders, uh, and that will point to the monthly fractal again. So in the, if that happens, we may see a retest of the lows again for, for the Kiwi. Um, on the other hand, as I said, and very similar as on uh, Euro versus Dollar and uh, the Horsey, uh, a violation of these previous structure highs um, should, should put the price trading again the the most recent double top uh, and of course if that happens the, the 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 probability for a breakout above will increase and if that happens we will i will wait for the formation of this uh, of this pattern above okay if you want to go long as i said if you want to go along with this with these pairs we have this you add these uh, bullish patterns uh, waiting for you at some point if you don't if you were not able to in, to join this this or to engage these patterns you need to wait for the next ones uh, because if you if you 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 may have the luck to trade more bearish from this price zone without suffering too much but you can have also you you, you may also have a lot of unlock and unlock and see the price retesting the previous structure lows again um, and very very fast so and if that happens if you if you want to go long from this territory and seeing the price sinking immediately to the previous lows it will be very frustrating for you and for for anyone who want to to, to trade for the long side for um, with the kiwi so i prefer to wait for another situation as i said before i was expecting the formation of this scrap pattern projected below but the market ends up finding some support at the, at the 113% Fibonacci extension level. So basically trade what you see and not what we expect. That's the lesson here. I was expecting the formation of the, the crap pattern with the price forming the alt path pattern above it. So that being said, if you trade based on what we see, you should be trading this, we should be trading this bullish alt bat pattern from the 113% Fibonacci extension level. But uh, again, and sometimes it will happen, I put my convictions uh, first and I was convicted that the market, or I was convinced that the market was about to trade the previous next zone, the previous the double bottom next zone. Um, which will offer me a very, very interesting uh, risk-reward approach to trade. Not so much as, as when 
if you if you push a trade from the 113% Fibonacci extension, probably you will be using a one-to-one -one risk reward approach because you don't know where the market will find support. If you trade from the golden Fibonacci extension level, that's a different configuration. And because we are very, very close to the monthly fractal, and not only because of that, but because the magnitude of your profits will be much better than trading from the 113% Fibonacci extension, which allows you also to protect your capital with more, more room, adjusting your position size, but playing with the price structure, which is much better for us. Then we have also, let's go to the yens, the dollar versus the yen and the pound versus the yen. Um, I I, sh I I shared before this this one this bearish Gartley pattern that I was expecting for uh, dollar versus the yen, but in the meanwhile the market has formed this bearish alt bat pattern also for dollar versus the yen, uh, one thirteen percent Fibonacci extension level uh, res respected, and as we can see the market immediately falling below. So I'm pointing to I'm pointing to this uh, Fibonacci extension level initially or one first pressure uh, price zone um, at 10871. So I want to see if the dollar versus the yen finds some pressure at this uh, price zone, golden Fibonacci extension level and bullish shark pattern completion point. The same for the cable or the pound versus the Japanese yen. Uh, golden Fibonacci extension projected at 104.20. So if the market decides to sink into this price zone, that will complete the bullish crab pattern. Golden Fibonacci extension level also. Aussie very similar as on as for the ki the kiwi and the euro versus dollar. Uh, at this point, I can expect more bullish momentum, but we still need to um, we still need to trade above some of those. Um, fractals. Let me increase the time frame to get a, a clear picture of this. Um, so higher degree, higher degree heads and shoulders. Initially, I projected these heads and shoulders from here. <coughs> I saw this as a potential trend line support and the next zone for that edge and shoulders formation with the market uh, printing kind of a false breakout below the next zone and recovering immediately. Uh, actually, the market then later forms also another uh, inverted edge and shoulders here. As we can see, uh, inverted edge and shoulders triggering this upside momentum, the formation of this bearish shark pattern at 224% Fibonacci extension, also forming kind of a net for these lower degree heads and shoulders. Um, this one we decided to sh I, I decided to go short with this one a false breakout again after the first one another false breakout below this lower degree next zone uh, and a bounce immediately a bounce from the 113 percent Fibonacci extension level as we can see another bullish alt bat pattern for now we are approaching this trend line resistance and fractal resistance at 77 73. We have the daily fractal at 77.95 and I admit that a violation of that fractal uh, will, uh, well, at least, at least will increase the probability for a retest of the previous structure highs. And I have this trend line resistance uh, here, but for now it's pure, pure speculation. I don't know if the price will respect this uh, structure or not. But it can happen. It can it can act as a um, potential triangle. We will see on on a higher degree uh, what the price will do. But I assume that a violation of the daily fractal resistance uh, should trigger at least a retest of the previous structure highs. In this case, the weekly fractal. And of course, the same may happen if the price trades above the head or this this weekly fractal a retest of the major resistance above at 872. So this is my picture for the Australian dollar, which is starting to change between a short side below these neck zones for these edge and shoulders into a retest of the 
mostly fractal resistance. Um, Euro versus the the pound show you are already inverted edge and shoulders, eventual inverted edge and shoulders, uh, which may put the price trading the 200% Fibonacci extension level back to the daily fractal resistance. And again, too soon to project, but if the price trades above that fractal, um, that that will increase the probability then to search for that golden Fibonacci extension level, which will complete the bearish shark pattern. The bearish shark pattern, if completed, will suggest or it may suggest a retracement. And as we can see, we have the 38% Fibonacci retracement level from the completion point, nailing the previous structural resistance. So this is the daily fractal resistance right here. And if that pattern forms or it, if the pattern completes, it will suggest a retracement. And as you can see, the 38% Fibonacci uh, converging with the price structure and previous fractal resistance. Euro versus the Australian dollar. It can happen. It can print one eventual edge in shoulders or one inverted edge in shoulders here. Let's see how it will develop from this price zone. But we have also this potential bullish shark pattern uh, projected a few points, uh, a few points below the current, um, the current price zone. So in fact, 156.49, 156.50. This is the bullish shark pattern completion point, um, which or 56.49 exactly, which will put the price uh, trading very close to the 38% Fibonacci retracement, uh, right, uh, right here. So that can create kind of a cluster box of pressure for potential eventual support uh, zone. But that let's not ignore the, we can call this a minor or a lower degree inverted edge and shoulder risk, which can trigger at least a retest of this structure trend line support or even uh, a few points higher. Let's see uh, if that is the case. And to finish, with some of the patterns that I'm expecting to see forming during this week, eventually, the pound versus the, the, the Australian dollar, also another false breakout above. We are about to, we are about to not confirm it yet, but we are very close to the previous structure support level and the violation of this support will confirm these, um, will confirm these false breakout above i'm trying to create these arrows here so we have these first structure highs daily fractal resistance and we have a new fractal above the previous one so if the price decides to trade below the daily fractal that will confirm this false breakout above which implies or will suggest again will suggest the price um, to search for the golden Fibonacci extension level. So let's say, uh, let's point, let's also tag those those levels, 180.71 and, and eventually um, more pressure levels below between 180.15 and 179.24. I'm pointing initially to this, of course, to the golden Fibonacci um, extension level, 120.71, um, that's, that's, what I can expect after the confirmation of a false breakout above. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a few, a few charts for us to follow and specifically for those who are learning process to follow and to, to try to understand and try to observe how the market will react or if the market will react at those price zones or those price or those Fibonacci levels. Let's see if that will happen. Um, we have a couple of examples here for those who are learning to 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 follow for this for this week i hope you enjoy stay disciplined and stay wealthy uh, that's 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 one of the things that we need to to assure um in our present days after these these sequences of of covid um uh, forcing us to to stay home so let's stay wealthy motivated, disciplined and focused on, on, on in our process um, and for you that which are 
for, for you that are learning processes, I believe it's important to stay focused. So I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned, and I will try to and I will update some of those all those charts uh, later this week for for sure. So I hope you enjoy. Press that like button if that is the case, and um, see you later. Have a nice week. Thank <laughs> you.